This is image 14, the title Statues of Votive Figures from the Square Temple of Eshnuna. The culture is Sumerian. The creation date is 2700 BCE. It's a male figure approximately 2 feet and 6 inches high. The function of the votive figures from the Square Temple of Eshnuna was to offer constant prayer to the gods of the donor's behalf. The open-eyed stairs most likely symbolize the eternal wakefulness necessary to fulfill their duties. In the ancient Near East, the common person's relationship to gods and goddesses was distant and formal. Deities were believed to inhabit cult statues housed in temples, and contact with them can only be achieved through votive offerings and the elaborate rituals of an intermediary priest. During the early dynastic period, a special type of votive sculpture like this male figure became popular for this purpose. The composite of geometric volumes, the figure illustrates an abstract style of sculpture. Except for the figure's beard and vertical lines with a robe, details have been eliminated and the body has been conceived as a conical shape from which angular arms project. The triangular forms are repeated in shape of the nose and, and the patterns of the beard. This abstract sculptural style existed alongside a more realistic one of that period, likely indicating that this sculptured form was a purposeful choice rather than lack of ability on the part of the craftsperson. Nature. Access to the small central shrines was probably limited, most likely to the priests who served the gods' needs. It was perhaps due to this lack of access that the elite commissioned images of themselves to be carried into the gods' presence. These statues embodied the very essence of the worshippers so that the spirit would be present when the physical body was not. All twelve are thought to originally have been set up as representations of worshippers in perpetual prayer before their deity. His large head has prominent eyes inlaid with shell and black limestone. A continuous arching brow in size across the forehead was also inlaid, perhaps with bitumen. Stylized tresses fall on either side of a rectangular beard. And both hair and beard show traces of the bitumen that originally coated them. The figure is bare chested and wears a skirt with a single row of long fringe at the bottom. A carry. Negative space creates an openness in the composition. Behind him is a large scale senior wife supporting the throne. The themes are carved, negative space, and hierarchy of scale. The votive statues highlight harmony of the gods and Sumerian people, physically presenting their statues. The mood of the work is very calm. Votive figures were made of were made as an act of worship of the gods and placed in a shrine before the image of the god. It shows the surrogate for donor offering constant prayers to gods with arms clasped reverently in suffocation and awe. The form of the votive, votive figures are that they are of different heights, denotating hierarchy of scale. Their hands are folded in a gesture of prayer. Their eyes are extremely large, shown to be in awe, spellbound or perhaps staring at a deity and their arms and feet are cut away their chin are all wedge shaped and men are bare chested and women's dresses are draped over one shoulder the beards on the men are in a ripple pattern the function of this figure is to represent mortals they would be placed in temples to pray before a sculpture of a god. And the context and interpretation is that gods and humans physically present in their statues.